Hello everyone, welcome back to another art time lapse. Today I am doing some pipe cleaner crafts for toddlers or for big kids. Hopefully you'll find this video helpful. I'm actually doing it for my child for his birthday party so I thought I should do some samples of it and show you how it looks like. So you need some pipe cleaners as you can see here. I picked these up at the dollar store. I also have some like loose feathers. I have glue glue stick white glue all picked up at the dollar store and then i have a sharpie which you can actually use marker of any kind i also have some scrap paper here loose envelopes just kind of have a couple of items here in case i need it and we'll see what we can do so we're gonna do some pipe cleaner art and um hope you enjoy doing it with your little one i have scissors here that i may or may not use i know that for toddlers it might not be as easy to give them access to scissors so i'm gonna see if i actually need those hopefully i will not and let's get started so here i have quite a few different pipe cleaners of different colors i'm gonna do a pipe cleaner butterfly ring now my daughter loves butterflies right now she's in a butterfly face so i thought it would be really nice to do a butterfly ring she also loves her accessories so i'm gonna do a butterfly ring for her and hopefully this works out so this is like a pipe cleaner piece that i have from scrap that she had used before but i think same idea doesn't really matter so i'm gonna find the middle portion of the pipe cleaner i'm gonna twist these two colors around as you can see here that's the middle section right there and then i'm going to just twist them and intertwine them with each other as you can see here so then there's two colors for the ring now i'm going to use my finger as an example but the middle section here is going to turn into where the ring resides so here i'm putting it around my finger and I'm going to twist the top. Well, not an angle there. There you go. Can you see? There you go. So I'm going to twist the top. This ring is where the finger is going to go on the inside, as you can see here. And the top, I'm just going to twist it together. Of course, if you're doing it for a child, you can use her finger as a example of how large a diameter you would need but there you go there's the ring where the finger is going to go through you could always use like the child's finger or you can use like a pencil or something it's like cylindrical so you can like figure out how big the ring will be and then i just did a twist and i'm just doing some minor shaping but now I have like four loose pieces are going to be the wings of the butterfly. Now at the end of one of these pieces, I'm slowly going to coil them inwards. And that will comprise of one wing of the butterfly. Now using the other three loose pieces, I'm going to do the same thing. So starting from the end, curl it inwards. And then start coiling it in a circular motion. There you go. Now that's the second wing. And then, of course, I have two more pieces. Just positioning it a little bit. Again, starting at the end, coiling it in. It doesn't need to be perfect because you're going to be shaping the wing a little bit at the end and keep in mind because these are like pipe cleaners that has like a wire inside so it's really easy for you to manipulate the wing later on if you want to flap upwards or like move it a little higher it's very easy to do so here coiling in the ring so you can see there are now like the four wings for the butterfly I'm actually going to make the wings, instead of they're like round, I'm going to make the wings a little bit pointed at the end. So that means that for the ends, you can see I'm just creating a point there by pushing in the two sides of the circle. 
And I'll do the same for all four of the wings. Now, if you like, you can use like same two colors for pipe cleaners so that all four wings will be the same color or you can use two different colors as I've done here. And there you go. So here is the ring portion that your child or yourself can put your finger through and you have a butterfly wing and also butterfly ring. Um, not entirely finished for this piece, but if you are happy at the stage and you think that's good enough, that's perfectly fine. Now, if you're thinking of maybe stepping it up a notch, here you can follow me on the next step as I create the antennas and the body of the butterfly. So I'm using this purple pipe cleaner, wrapping it from the bottom, and then I'm gonna twist it on the top. And these will be the antennas for the butterfly. At this point, you actually do need to use scissors so that you can cut the antennas so that they are approximately the same length. I'm going to curl the antennas a little bit. Don't have to be like a full curl like you saw with the wings. It's going to be a little bit more loose. So there you go. So at this point for like a butterfly ring, you'll need approximately two and a half piece of pipe cleaners. The half piece will be for the body and the antennas. But if you want to skip that step, you can just use two pieces of pipe cleaners of two different colors or same color just to do the ring itself and also the butterfly wings. So here I'm just kind of like repositioning everything. I think it looks pretty cute so far. And then I'm just making sure everything looks nice. Now at this point, if you want to add eyes, I think eyes will make it look really cute as well for this particular butterfly ring. Now you can pick up googly eyes from the dollar store or you, if you don't have access to that, you can always just grab white paper and then glue on some eyes and just use a black marker to fill in the pupil. So there's a couple options for you to consider. But either way, you'll need some glue on the stage onwards. But up to this point, you haven't needed any glue and you just needed the pipe cleaners that you picked up at the dollar store or your local art store, which I think is a very affordable, like easy access to get. I think for me, when I picked up my uh, pipe cleaners for like $2, you can get like 300 pieces. So like you can do a lot of butterfly rings with a dollar or two dollars at the local dollar store. So here's a closer look at how the butterfly ring looks like. There's the bottom of the ring. I think it looks a lot cuter on my daughter than on myself, but just want to do a demo so you can see a closer look. And then next I'm going to grab some scrap paper and I'm going to cut these into circles. Also, like I mentioned at this point, you could use googly eyes that you pick up at the dollar store or you can just grab some construction paper and cut some circles out. You'll need two eyes. Of course, if you want, you can have your little ones do two, three, four, how many number of eyes that they really feel like there needs to be. But you will need some glue to glue these eyes on. So here are my two tiny eyes using my black sharpie. I'm just going to dot the inside of the eye. I just think that adding eyes just makes it a lot more fun. My daughter actually likes to put the butterfly ring on her finger and pretend that it's flying as she's kind of waving her fingers around in the air, which I think is the most adorable thing. Here is the white glue that I picked up at the dollar store. Now I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of glue onto the body of the butterfly. I really like these dollar store white glue with the fine tip. That way, like if you are planning on gluing something like a little bit smaller, it has a more fine point rather than coming out with a big blob. So that's the type of white glue that I like to pick up at the dollar store. So here I got a little bit of glue on the eyes. Now 
using my fingers I'm just gonna put the eyes onto the butterfly itself you can do bigger eyes if you want or you can have like smaller eyes the eyes could have pupil on the inside or you can have like um, squinty eyes or like eyes that are like crazy eyes or different color eyes pupils like for example if your children like purple eyes or blue eyes or yellow eyes you can just be very creative with it as well and as well if you want to do like designs on the wings that's an option as well you can do design on the wings by drawing them on construction paper and then gluing it on so here you can see the eyes on top for the butterfly just need to let it dry at this point um, so you have to prevent your little toddler from touching it until it fully dries but here is the butterfly wing I think it's just so cute such an easy craft to do with your little one especially on a rainy day outside but yeah thank you so much for joining me on doing this quick pipe cleaner craft and I'll see you next time in another video take care and stay creative everyone bye for now Thank you.